Hello, friends and adventurers, and welcome to Grognard and Friends, where friends gather to explore the area and play Dungeons and Dragons. And a very special welcome to our new friends in Argentina, Brazil, and Hungary. We really appreciate you joining us. Thank you for being a friend. And speaking of the friends, let's check out this week's episode of Grognard and Friends. They had broken into the prison of Seven Rivers on behest of their new friend and, according to Reed, Vampire Murph. Things had gone well. They had found underground tunnels that led beneath the prison. They had found some secret new carved out tunnels that didn't seem to have been there before that led them underneath one of the cells. And they were able to get in, but not until they had fought off a number of strange creatures that looked like a cross between spiders, dogs, and lizards that uh, turned out to be quite formidable. So, but once in the prison, the friends did quite well. They had rescued a number of other prisoners, one halfling named Phineas, a merchant from the Overlook named Fargus, and a very large ogre type creature named Groom, who uh, turned out to know Butterbeer, as we soon found out when they actually, much to the group's surprise, found Butterbeer himself badly beaten and bruised. They then sought to get out uh, their new friend Toad had been turned invisible with Calandra, and they had gone in search of seeing if they could create a diversion. Uh, Calandra had come back, stating that there were guards up ahead who had discovered one of the prisoners had escaped. Toad was able to disappear, and no one's really sure where he went. Calandra joined up with the group again, at which point Bavolda and Gaius set forward guards, armor, and uniforms that they had picked off the bodies of some guards that they had not been conscious. The group now split into two factions, had Gaius and Bavolda entering deeper into the prison to see what they could find and see if they could find one Edward Andrews, who seemed to be very important to the rebel mission going on, and the rest of the group, along with all the freed prisoners, trying to find their way back and exit the prison. Things didn't go quite the way they had planned for either group, as Butt Trumpet, Calandra, Reed, and the prisoners got lost and ended up in, in some small cells that led, they weren't sure where they led from before, but had some doors with some very bizarre locks. And Gaius and Vivaldo, now posing as Guy and Veronica, went in search of Edward Andrews, only to find nothing but other guards wondering what the hell was going on within the prison. Gaius and Vivaldo knocked out quite a few of them and, and locked them up in a cell, went in search of the rest of the party, eventually found them. And that's when things went interesting, got interesting, because Butt Trumpet had arcane locked the root out, Vivaldo had cast a large silence spell. They did not cast a spell. Oh, did I say Vivaldo? Yeah. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. It's pretty simple family names, it happens. <laughs> But the group once more got together, and Butt Trumpet, in the midst of voguing, un undid the arcane lock spell. The group went in, Bavolda knocked out at the guard that was right by the door, Gaius went in and tried talking to the, the officer within along with the other guards, it didn't quite go as he had hoped, so he used the code word for attack, which turned out to be oh shit, and they were able to subdue the rest of the guards. Once done, they were able to find Edward Andrews in a, in a secure single cell off of that checkpoint, and then they unfortunately started hearing some noise. Phineas, who had tried to escape through the door to the north, came running back in, saying there were guards there. And guys had asked if they were the naked guards, if they had stolen the uniforms off previously, and Phineas had said no. And they had heard noises outside the door that they had just come in, and it turns out that the Grey Shadow, Vargas the Merchant, were still outside and dealing with a number of guards that had followed them in. Groon handed Gaius, Butterbeer's body, who has, was still kind of weak, went out the door and shut it behind him, and you could all of a sudden hear the sound of screaming guards. After Gaius and Vivalda and Reed were able to get Andrews, they secured the checkpoint with Trumpet once again casting Arcane Lock on the door to the north, and then opened the door that Groon had just gone out, and that's where we left our friends. So friends... Oh. And also, oh. Butt Trumpet is now covered in an armor of rock candy. Oh, I nearly forgot. Yes, <laughs> Butt Trumpet had a spell mishap and is now the center of a growth of a very sweetly smelling but beautiful blue, pink, and purple new armor of rock candy shards and crystals that is making them look a little bit like an Everloving gobstopper made of gems. I nearly forgot. Everlasting I've... Goblet Stopper. So, friends, you have opened the door, and you see Rune with a guard on his back, a guard wrapped around his one leg, some in <coughs> front of him, some to the side of him. Every now and then, Gaius, with your passive perception, you can see back in the corner, you can see the Grey Shadow fighting off a number of, of guards, and you are also seeing in numerous places the bodies of guards. One of the things you're noticing, Gaius, is a number of the ones by Rune seem to be missing their heads. Oh, also, Gaius, best. your Entangle spell has, has run out and is 
Yeah. Everyone is free once more, which seems to have renewed the fight in that room. We did our best to minimize casualties, but if we want to save the rest of our people, I think restraint's going to have to go out the window. Oh, one other thing. Uh, mm. you, you are aware that the Grey Shadow and Rune are in that room, but it has been a while since anyone has seen Eldred. Oh, shit. oh balls. Was he in this oh. room with us at all? No, I'm. He's just the the token is there for light, but he also he's has like Jack with him. He's got like an illusion faking us out here. When was the uh, when was the last time he was with us? Like before you entered this room, before, before we Bud Trumpet undid the arcane lock. Matter of fact, I think the last time anyone had seen Eldred was when you were talking to the guard in that room to the north in that series Ugh. of cells and when you cast zone of truth eldred was eldred and jack were one of the ones that left the room early with phineas mm. and no one's seen him since viv was standing outside the room so she saw phineas come out did she ever see eldred and jack come out did you come out before i thought phineas mm -hmm. left first I left before the zone of truth happened because I thought Viv thought that Phineas was going to end up killing him. And she was like, I don't want to see what happens next. And she okay. just left the room. Okay. So Phineas came out, followed shortly thereafter by Eldred and uh, Jack. And I think definitely when Gaius came out and was having like a panic attack, Viv was directing all her attention right. at that. Okay. Well, it uh, looks like we got to save some folks. Would Viv be able Guys. to charge through the masses and kind of make a little bit of a path by charging through? I think you probably could. I, I, I would say because there's been enough time, this could definitely count as a new uh, combat. Working with in tandem with Viv, knowing she's going to charge in, he casts a uh, spiritual weapon down in the back toward uh, where the shadow is. And what sort of form does that take? A shield. Shape of a shield. Marcus protected them. And Actually, he throws out his hand. Green fire f erupts from his hand, shooting down the hallway and forms into a shield mm -hmm. that then blocks an incoming blow that would have hit the shadow. And it reciprocates an attack on them. Make, it, make a roll. Spiritual weapon, go. A 17. That definitely hits. And that'll be uh, seven force damage. Anything else you'd like to do? Yes. And then uh, to one of the, the one guy that, do you say how many guys are on Green's back? One is on his back, one is on his leg. Yeah, so the one that's on his back, Gaius reaches his hand out and grapevines come whipping out. Does the 13 hit him? Unfortunately, 13 misses. Okay, and just kind of like taps him in the back of the head, but does no no damage. And that's my turn. Vivalda, it is your turn now. Perfect. Love how that lined up. <laughs> um, she's going to take out field, and she's just going to try and bulldoze a path by running through the passer. Okay. Uh, probably heading towards where she last saw Eldred and Jack, towards that other room. Okay, that would probably be about there. Last point you saw Eldred, he was about here. I think that's a good path. But would you like me to roll for that, like running through and trying to make a path? Well, you don't have to roll for that because that's your charge. So roll Okay, your, cool. You tell me which which uh, ones you want to hit with, with the number that you're able to do, and we'll okay. take it from there with your I believe I'm charge. able to hit two. Are these two right here? Um, yes. Good to go. Yes. Wonderful. Then I will just bonk those two over, just like okay. with the force of my shield into the wall. Roll for bonk damage. Can I can I attack with my shield? Is that unarmed strike? Yeah. Not great. That's um mm -hmm. an eight on one. That misses. And a fourteen with the other. That also just misses. And where do you want to end up? At that spot, right over here. Just like, hopefully I made some sort of a clearing for the others to get through. Roll me a perception check, please. That's a six. Not great. Come okay. on, dice. Is that where you wanted to end up? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Just going to be holding my shield, standing my ground. Spiky butt trumpet, it is your turn. 
Uh, if I recall correctly from last week, I believe Calandra was actually carrying me, so I am where Calandra is because my movement had been lessened due to my new scrum diddly umptious style change. I'd like to be the doorway. I'd like to attempt to cast Acid Splash on the ones that Viv was trying to bonk into the wall. Uh, they need to make a deck saving throw. Okay, a 19 and a 2. Okay, well, the 2... The 19 is fine. The 2 gets 6 points of acid damage. Uh, this sugary smelling burst of... of... Goo flies from your hands. Hit the hits it's them from a war head. From what? <laughs> hits them and they go. Ooh, yummy! Ah! It starts burning. <laughs> Reverse sour patch kid. <laughs> First it's sweet, then it's sour. <laughs> <laughs> and I am good for my turn. Sweet, literally. Reed, it is your turn. You uh, are over by Butterbeer and Edward Andrews. Phineas um, is north of you, hiding by the door. Call out the guys. What, what do you want me to do? Where are we going? <laughs> what, do, what do you want me to do? We're, we're, we're saving Shadow and Groon, and there's probably bringing, Eldred somewhere in there. Are we bringing what? them back here or going through there? We're going to be bringing people back this way, yes. Just oh, okay. pointing to the door to the, I guess, orientation map north. Over there, that's how we got in in the first place. So we kind of, this is... Got it. We bring okay. them toward us. It. So, um, gently right. stab oh. folk. Gently Try stab. Try not to... Just, yeah, <laughs> at this point, it's kind of moot. But, yeah. Yeah, alright. At least don't um, feel good about killing people. Okay. All right. Can I push past uh, guys there and get? Well, you'll push past Kalander. We'll have Kalander go over here. Where Where is the door to this cage? Why I'm like stuck in this cage. I want to end up there. <laughs> okay, you can do that and... because it's a little tough getting past a spiky butt trumpet. And by the way, make a perception check. Oh, a mighty eighteen. You walk up to butt trumpet looking at them a little like, oh my god. And then you're like, oh, candy. I strongly resist the urge to taste, but I will. <laughs> Thank you, because that would make me very uncomfortable as your friend. <gasps> we have a good camaraderie going. Let's not ruin it. Got it. <laughs> I mean, it would just be your shoulder, but that's okay. Well, um... <laughs> <laughs> still weird. It's still weird. I want to try and free Gruen from that guy, so... The one on their uh, back? Yeah. Attack. Not very well. I'm 11. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to do? I probably had to use double move to get there, right? Using my cunning action. To get past Bud Trumpet in the doorway once more, yeah. So I am stuck there. Okay. Calandra is going to go over to Edward Andrews. Guy, it's all you here, and we'll say Bud Trumpet, you can hear it too, is Calandra go, Oh, dear. You appear hurt. Let me lay some hands on you. No! Heal! That's actually a spell. I hear I all think. that goes, oh! Okay! <laughs> yeah, no, that's... That's an actual spell that... Yeah, that's the, the actual verbiage. Never mind, we're good! <laughs> but, but Trumpet needs to learn a spell where they have, like, a fire hose, and they just, like, no. Oh, spray bottle? <laughs> spray bottle, so yeah. Let's create... Let's create or destroy water. <laughs> there you oh go. Make up the five gallons, I think. <laughs> I um, cast flash dance. Anyways, Sadly, the guards I don't think we have anyone. Now. Okay. A couple seem to make contact with the gray shadow. A couple make contact with Groon. And let's see if this one who now has started paying attention to you, Reed, hits. Uh, with a five, so I'm going to say probably not. It is Phineas's turn. He still stays up there by uh, the door. That's nice of him. It's helpful. Making sure no one, you know, comes in or out. Definitely. Um, yeah, we got no. We, guys, that doesn't have a lot of good vibes coming off him. 
Calandra every now and then sees him like check the knob once more, looking around. Seems to be kind of like looking like a junkie, kind of dancing from foot to foot. Kind of looks like he's got OCD, to be honest, having to touch the doorknob multiple times. Reed. Don't make him sympathetic. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Reed, you see Groon with one hand pick up one of the guards and bang him against the one wall with the other one trying to reach behind him with the guy on his back and he just can't seem to get him. But the first one he did a did a pretty good smash against the wall, but the guy's still he's alive. Cool. Yeah. Let's put it that way. He's still kicking. Just a little bit of brain damage. He can't help kicking it. It's like it's a like little brain of... damage between friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they're friends. Guys, yeah. it is your turn once more. A spiritual weapon will take another swing at the same guy if they're still alive and kicking. Yeah, this time it definitely does. Uh, this one, that's 27. Yeah, I'm sure that hits. The shield turns on edge and just kind of like for eight force damage, just kind of like jabs the guy in the side of the throat. The shield wings around, hits him in the throat, slams him up against the wall. They, they just collapse to the ground. <laughs> Ex excellent work, spirit. And uh, so that guy is still on Groon, yes? That guy is still on Groon, yeah. I thought you said yes, that, that guy is still, is still on Groon. I'm like, wait a no, minute. No, no, no. I said, is the guy, yeah, oh no, sorry. <laughs> yep, don't worry about that other thing. Uh, so I tried to do the same thing the last time and uh, don't. So uh, he, I tried to use Thorn thorn Whip to wrench the guy off the back and just kind of maybe gently caress the side of his face in a very intimate and unsettling way. Well, I think probably <laughs> with a back. one, it probably went exceedingly <laughs> low, and maybe you maybe even hear Groon go, oh, but that's, you know, that's, that's probably about his it. His voice drops real low. Oh! Exactly. Oh, that mean guard hit you, Groon. <laughs> okay, is there anything and, uh, else? That's, the, the, yeah, that's all I'm going to add to this combat <laughs> for now. <laughs> uh, I won't add any of my more particular... Chaos. <clears throat> Vivalda, it is your turn, and before you do anything, please give me another perception check. Sounds good. I was going to ask if I could do that. Give me some... No, that's the wrong number, actually. Another six for perception. <laughs> what would you like anyway. to do? With a six, it's like you're in the hear, middle of combat. You hear Groon's voice go very high-pitched and sound like oh. a mouse with round black ears. Strange. Okay. Oh. Yeah. It's so specific. Okay. Yeah, it's strangely um, marketable. Look out right. for all your money. I oh. I'm definitely going to look back here at the door um, south. Okay. Is anybody, like, coming up that way? You see the doorway opening. Can I I'm sure it's ready somebody friendly. An action? Can I ready my action? Like, if somebody comes through this Absolutely. doorway, I'm going... Awesome. Uh, I'm the moment Jack, somebody I'm comes putting to that, Jack there just to uh, kind of give you light some it. light. She's going to just kind of stand the ground, try to block off this way so that no more guards come pouring in, and just ready if somebody's coming at her, she's going to try and bonk them and knock them out. You're holding your turn. At the end yes. of your turn, what you're seeing is that door opening up. Ready for <laughs> pommeling. <laughs> Everlasting Goblin Stopper, it is your turn. I'm trying to make sure I was following correctly of who was attacking who. Are the guys uh, that Viv first attacked still against the wall? They're not against the wall. They're, they're, Are they they're... still conscious and able to fight back? Oh, yeah, they're fighting Groon. Cool, 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 cool. I am going to attempt to hit him with Eldritch Blast. I don't know if we maybe want to make that Pop Rocks themed. Pop Rocks. And so they are. <laughs> That's for one of them. That's for one of them. Because I'm level five. I can get two beams. The other one's a 22. That We're going to say it's the one that I hit with Acid Splash, perhaps. Okay. One of them just happens to be invincible, I guess. The okay, other guy well. gets a tasty snack. Maximum 10 points of force damage. Okay. You see this sparkling bunch of little, what color would it be there, Butt Trumpet? We're going to go with pink. Okay. You see a bunch of bubbling pink pellets kind of shoot out from 
butt trumpet and hit the face of this guard. And all of a sudden you hear this unbelievable crackling followed by the very human voice going, hmm, yum, ow. One of them had just drank a soda, right. a very popular brand of cola. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to do there, butt trumpet? I am okay for right now. Little hesitant to have multiple people going out in the hall. I'll get you, other guy, eventually. You're on my list. Reed, it's your turn. I'm going to attempt to get the guy off Gruen. I stab at thee. Not well. A 10. Okay, that <sighs> does not hit. So with my cutting action, I get another move action. Can I attempt to grab him and put all my weight into it and just yank, try to yank him off? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that would be that would be an action in and of itself. I'm also thinking I'm so it's it, this is one of those times that you're going, thank goodness Calandra isn't here for. <laughs> okay, would you like to have a movement there, Reed? I guess I'll duck back in the room for now. <laughs> thank you, Buck gonna, I would like to move back into the room and a little bit to the north direction. Is that is that another guard in front of me? Yeah, like next to you. Okay, the one who was attacking you. Oh yes. Okay, that was the one that attacked me. I wasn't yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. So I will use disengage then if I need to to get back that far. Okay. And I'll try again next turn. Okay. <laughs> Calandra, meanwhile, is focusing her attentions on Edward Andrews, and it is the guard's turn. <laughs> Speaking of yanking off. <laughs> no. This is a family show. What's happening over there? <laughs> Since when? Oh my gosh. Since when? Yeah, you're right. Uh, Vivalda, give me one last perception check. I would love to do that. I would love to. Let's see. <laughs> you got this, Viv. Please. Thank you. Was that so hard? 23. Last thing you hear before the doors open. Great. Get the mages in there. Bitch, what? Okay. <laughs> That's great. That's great. I love to hear. Okay. Am I able to shout out to warn everyone? Or when do I have to wait your, till when my turn? When it's your turn, you'll be able to. One will come up on you. It's a narrow hallway with a 17. That misses because I have my shield out. Awesome. No, actually, my armor class is 17. So that hits. Oh, so rude. Five points of damage as this guard charges with his shield up and the sword and just kind of gets you on the shoulder in between plates of the armor that you have. <sighs> okay. And since she attacked me, am I able to attack her back because I held my action? Sure. Sure. Go ahead. Wonderful. All right. I'm going to try and pommel her helmet into her head so that she is unconscious. Gas like a keep girl boss. Heck yeah. That's 23 to hit. That definitely hits. And that would be eight oh, pobble damage. Nice, nice hit. What? That was really nice. But Trumpy, you notice that Rune just has cuts and piercings all over him. And when I say piercings, I don't mean like hot topic piercings. I mean like from blades. And he's getting drenched with blood. But he uh, he's still going strong. I love you, buddy. Is it my turn? Not yet. We're getting there. Want to get that guy off his back? I've been trying. <laughs> Not having much luck. I know. I want to be really like, careful, what? but got to get him off. And Gaius, it is your turn. Where I have spiritual weapon, we'll just take down and target, once again, one of the weakest people around gray shadow give me a perception check. well i got a dirty 20 on the attack but okay. i will do perception right now 16 on the perception check what's your damage seven force damage shield comes around just like whips around and clocks whoever shadow's facing in the back of the head stunning and or knocking them down i hope it just it hits them and they definitely get clocked but they're still up has uh, the guys that are uh, combating Groon, Paul, the guy yeah. specifically on his back, does he look like he's wounded at all? No. All right, then I'll hold off on doing the one thing. And I will attempt for the third time in a row 
to hit this person. And fail again, where I just... That man is impervious to everyone, <laughs> apparently. Yeah, I, just, I don't know. What to, right, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> My turn's over. You must be a follower of some, some other god who's got god of luck. Like the, yeah, the luck god. I keep hoping to draw some people toward me, but I can't hit them, apparently. Spiritual weapon can hit them. Vivalde, is your turn. She is going to shout out to the others. Just, the, there are mages coming! And she's going to attempt to try and push this person back down the hall while attacking, if that's possible. Sure. What we're going to do is strength challenge to see right. who wins as far as that goes. So go okay. ahead and roll, roll a strength uh, roll. I got this. May the, may the dice be with you. 21. <laughs> Ooh, good one. And it looks like a 16. We'll All say right. they get moved back five feet to there, I squished guess. in with the person behind them. Well, to also attack with my sword, or go would ahead. that be my action? No, 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 no. All go right. ahead and say, go ahead. Does she have a shield by chance? Yes. I was wondering, do I see an opening like at her leg? Yeah. I, I, I think Viv is going to try and target the leg so that she's going to have less support and possibly fall down and cause um, a tripping hazard for those behind her. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ha have you roll your attack, okay. and I'm going to say you're going to need, you already know that to hit these guards, you need a 15 or higher. So I'm going to say you're going to need an 18 or higher. 15 or higher will hit them, but to, to hit the actual okay. where it'll do something if you hit an 18 or higher. Like a tendon, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go for it. Here I go. <laughs> Did it hit? <laughs> that is a ten. Dang it. Okay, the shield just just deflects it. That's fine. At least I pushed her back. There you go. All right, that is my turn, and I warned the others. So they know that mages are coming. Butt Trump it is your turn. Okay, how? Way am I from Groon and his uh human backpack? About five feet. Perfect. I'm gonna scoochaloo pretty close and aim my palm upward to be like right in his face and cast poison spray. Is uh, that a saving constitution throw? Constitution saving throw. Constitution, yes. I'm going to say a six doesn't do it. 20 points of poison damage. And they Wait, not how only is that? Wow. they not only fall off of Groon dead. <laughs> Pop like a water balloon. But that entire area, <laughs> there is a cloud of stuff that smells quite a bit like pixie sticks. I was about to say pixie sticks. You know, cross between Pixie Six and Fun Dip. It just feels like powdered sugars in the air. I'm so glad we're on the same page in terms of the candy puns. Fantastic. Why is it why is it like a confectionery in here? What's going on? You can take a sunrise, sprinkle it with you. <laughs> and that is my turn. Okay. Until, wait, hold on. I first I make I make really intimidating eye contact with the guy I haven't been able to hit get, yet and go, you're next. <laughs> you see them look you up and down and kind of there's a little shiver. Like Good. And then they the sniff the air and go, hmm. <laughs> Prepare to meet a diabetic end. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. When diabetes strikes. <laughs> Reed, it is your turn. I will rush back out the door. I will uh, twirl in the cloud of uh, pixie sticks and take a big whiff because that smells delicious. And then I will twirl. <laughs> I know. I finally poison myself. And I will, try out, I will twirl right into an attack on that card. Make your roll. 
Oh, come on. God. Anything else you'd like to do? I, I'll use whatever. If I have to use my cutting action to move or whatever, I just want to move like that to block the guard from getting to. But okay. The... You see Reed come through the door, give a little twirl in the air, his face turned up, sniffing the air, big smile on his face. And he's going, yum. <laughs> Hits the ground with, and just as he's about to strike, all of a sudden he clutches his gut and goes, oh, and then slowly <laughs> steps back. And I'll make sure I'm positioned there to guard butt trumpet. <laughs> so you see him standing in front of butt trumpet going, puh, puh. <laughs> How could something that smells so wonderful be so oh. painful? <laughs> I definitely inhaled something. Wasn't that the like college kids idiot. were doing? Like, wasn't that called pixie dust or something? Mm hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Vivaldo, would Brimley. you please give me a the constitution Brimley. saving throw, please? The I Brimley. love doing those. Yeah, totally. Constitution <laughs> saving throw. So, oh, wait, that's not a saving throw. Wait, is it, it is. Just kidding. It is. 12. Everything's fine. I'm not worried at all. And make a saving throw for your armor, please. <gasps> what, would you, what would I roll for that? Constitution. But okay. we're just make a roll a d20. 17. It feels as if the, the guy in the back behind those two guards says something, moves his hands, and aims an open hand at you, and you feel it's almost like something's trying to tear you apart from the inside. And you That's great. Yeah. 12 points of damage from it. <gasps> Oh, 12? Yeah, okay. and I, didn't roll, I only rolled well on one of the die. Danger, danger. There'll be danger down there. <laughs> a butt trumpet and Reed, and we'll say Gaius as well. One of mm. these guards mm -hmm. must have made a really, really amazing hit because you hear Groon let out a loud roar of pain. <gasps> no! He's still up, though, but he's oh, definitely in pain. Not looking great. Yeah. yeah. And the one guard on you, Vivalda, roll, rolls a three, so I'm going to say no. Nope. Okay. And, oh, on Reed as well. A two. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> it is Groon's turn. I cough a cloud of candy dust out of him and he backs off. <laughs> <laughs> You see him go to hit you, and he's just kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes, oh. Wilfred Brimley. <laughs> <laughs> and promptly dies. Because no, it's still oh. fucking poison. And you see Groon take one of these guards, his big hand grabs him by the head, and smacks it against the wall, and the body detaches from the head, and then just tosses it oh, on the ground. Oh, so that's how over. it's been happening. You tell him, Groon. I look yes. at Bud Trump and yeah, I'm just excellent. Like, that must be, that must be why Groon's in here. So, how many people are still left around Groon, Paul? That are actually standing. Any, is uh, anyone? The guy still in his back? He's gone now, right? No, he the guy in his back said, is way anyway. gone. No, I killed yeah, him. Yeah, he's yeah, he's been atomized <laughs> into sugar, apparently. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You've been, he's been wonka You've got one in front of Groon, <laughs> one beside Groon, and one that's kind of next to Groon but seems to be focused on Reed. So I did hear yeah. Viv mention that there are mages coming, which is bad. So yes. uh, Gaius is going to move up, and I guess Spiritual Weapon will just continue to do its, its good work over by the Shadow. So we'll just deal with that first. I'm um, going to say 23 does hit. Um, wow, but you're that, your spiritual weapon's cleaning up here. What? Uh, yeah, that's 12 force damage. As it, I'm assuming, just goes, clips someone's knees out from under them. They fall on their back, and it just comes flipping up and then drops down right on their head. They, they just are done. Yeah. They collapse and crumble to the ground. Yeah. So, Paul, the, the two just south of myself and Groon, are those uh, those guards are still active, yes? 
Yeah, one's on Groon, one's on Reed. Gaius will step up. The one that's on Reed, he will uh, go in with a, just the swing of his trusty Warhammer instead of the magic that has not been rolling so hot. Yeah, there you go. Ho, ho, ho. That's an ad 20. So, uh, that's 10, and you double that. So, Gaius just comes in with the Warhammer and looks at it, puts it back on his belt, and just comes in, uh, puts a shield on the side and just comes in with the Warhammer two-handed, just, and wonkas him on the top of the head. <laughs> Sorry, I had to use it one more time. Yeah, and just kind of like, boop. <laughs> and I imagine it's kind of like one of those, like where the the helmet goes into like the shoulder pads if it was a football player, just kind of like that. Oh, yes, and strange. I'm assuming that guard isn't. <laughs> and strangely, as you do that, there is like a poop of this this pink dust that just. <laughs> Goes into the air and then sparkles as it just slowly rains down again. <laughs> you know, uh, the Oompa Loompa send their regards. A really fun idea for a game. Like, if you made it a little bit more child friendly, like, I don't know, oh, some yeah, like, innocuous animal. Oh, like a groundhog or like a, ooh, or maybe a stoat. stoats. Whack a stoat, yeah. exactly. Okay, is there anything else you'd like to do there, Gaius? Like, I wanted to make my way more to Viv, but right now between Groon and that other soldier, can't really get past them yet, so... Okay. I guess I'm good. Yeah, there's no other real actions I could take. Okay. I, I shall pass it to Viv. Viv, it is your turn. Oh, gosh, guys. I'm so nervous. Okay. Um, I'm going to attempt to attack this guard's leg again, try to go for a tendon to knock them down so they're going to cause a tripping hazard for everybody else. So I'll use my short sword. Please roll high. 16. I can't remember what number you said. You hit, but you did not hit the leg. Okay, okay, okay. So All the right, shield well, kind of pushes it up and, and it c catches them more in the hip than anything else. Do your damage. Okay. But it stings them real good. It's 10 piercing damage. Very nice. Is there anything else you'd like to do there, Vivalda? Possibly. I think she definitely wants to run, so I want to disengage, but I also want to keep pushing them back. Oh, gosh. Uh, she's going to look back at the others and see how they're doing. Like, are they... You see mostly... a lot of bodies, and strangely, a lot of disembodied heads laying around behind you. I think she's going to disengage and try to catch up with the others. Just get oh, out of here. Till you did. Am I able to get here? Yeah. Without, um, okay. Yeah. Then I will jump right over there. <sighs> Just running over. <laughs> As I approach them, there are mages, there are mages, and just keep running. Okay. You're going, there are mages, there are mages, and get this whiff of, of can cotton candy flavored mist in your face and go, oh. And then your no, stomach <laughs> just, <laughs> I'm candy, but it, it, it burns afterwards. <laughs> Butt trumpet. We've got that guy that. looking at Reed left. Mm hmm. Cool. Um, Poison Spray did so well last time. Uh, how about he makes a constitution saving throw? 15? Balls! What color would you like that to have been? Uh, green. So now the air is filled with pink and green sparkling dust great. That, that smells like sour apple flavored cotton candy all of a sudden. <laughs> okay, we should probably get get out of here. Anything Let's else you'd like to do there, Butt Trumpet? Crunchily make my way back in the door. Reed, as you as you're there, you you feel the these this hard spiky stuff kind of scraping across your back as as Butt Trumpet goes around you. Oh, I, I, sorry, I, I give I give me. room. I give room. Yeah. I... <laughs> Thank you. Excuse me. Pardon me. Sorry. Reed, it is your turn. Candy Goblin, Candy Okay. Goblin. 
So one <laughs> coming through. Next to, next to Gruen, the big blue flaming sphere. Is that the spiritual weapon? Yes. Can I move next to guys like that? Yep. And I will attack. You move right into this sweet, sweet preppy colored cloud. <laughs> 16. That hits. And since guys is there, I get sneak attack. Yep. Awesome. Let's do some damage finally. 14. Okay. I stab at thee. <laughs> you uh you stab into the chest area it definitely goes between the plates of armor makes the person stumble back a little bit but they're still up anything else you'd like uh, to do yes i will back up into that room following our candy covered friend gaius and vivalda each give me a perception check please take great offense <laughs> 13 for me, Paul. Okay. <laughs> the dust is, the, the pixie dust is in my eye. I can't see anything. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're not, you're not used to oh, this much perfect. refined sugar and concentration. <gasps> Diabetes! No. Guys, like Beetlejuice. you yes. see these guards rushing in with a robed figure behind them, and you see, you get the, you can definitely tell there's other figures pushing to come in and from the simple sound you hear of, of them coming in you can definitely tell there's a number quite a few afterwards coming in uh the one, first one comes in and attacks groon and feebly misses mm. but the thing that catches your attention at the end of their turn is in the distance from the way they came you all of a sudden start hearing screaming and you're not a hundred percent sure but you thought you heard mixed in with that screaming perhaps some form of this this faint chittering no boy no sh no shit the beasts nah uh yeah that's what guy says out loud oh shit the beasts are behind the guards oh shit the beasts are behind the guard oh sh i actually don't know how to feel about this Oh shit, the beasts are behind the guards? And it's at this point, Groon picks up the guard in front of him, slams him against the wall. You see the guard kind of cough and look at him, and the gray shadow just kind of pokes his sword through his throat at that point. And then the guard just drops. Good job, guys. We need to leave this way. And the gray shadow grabs Fargus and starts pulling them towards the door. Uh, Shadow, you haven't seen Eldred, have you? As they no, walk past me. I've been a little preoccupied. I kind of figured that. Uh, I kind of figured that. was just hoping. Just hoping. It is then Gaius's turn. Uh, Gaius is going to use his primary action to uh, reach out to Eldred and send uh, in ascending. Eldred, where are you? If you need help, if not, we're at the guard uh, checkpoint that we use. We need to leave. You get back. I see you on oh, my way. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. So, motherfucker. Always mm, sneaky Eldred. All right. So, I, the shield is going to uh, rocket toward. Eldred is. Eldred is. Yes. Yes. Sneaky it is. Uh, so, the shield is going to basically go and intercept that one sh soldier that's still, I guess, right next to Groon, okay. and attack him. As Gaius puts his hand on him, Groon, time to leave! And he kind of gestures back, come on! Okay. Sh shield will shield will be fine on its own. Uh, <laughs> they don't shield... conga line the way they're supposed to. No, they're very bad at their jobs. Uh, yeah, so shield doesn't do anything, but it, it's there now. And then Gaius will start backing up with Groon. Viv, is that what you're going to be doing? Yeah, she's going to be retreating with the rest of them. So and we and guys turns around to read. Get ready to close the door once we're through. Uh, for the yeah. audio listens, as soon as Reed saluted. <laughs> 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 and, and also yells back, Shadow, grab a table or a desk so we can put it up against this door. Reed, you see the club come through the door before the rest of Groon. And then uh -huh. you you hear, oh, excuse me, pardon me, pardon me. And it seems it, it takes a hit. And all of a sudden, as you see Eldred poof into the room. 
in like a little cloud of dust. Vivalda, you're in front of Groon. The last thing you see are a bunch of guards rushing into that room, some some mages running into the room, and the guards see you, but immediately turn around, and that's when you clearly hear the screaming. Yeah. The guy's gonna just closes closes the door. Hey, is it quick question? Is the key for this door the same as the key to the door to the north, or is it a different yeah. one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, then uh, I don't break the key off in there. But uh, yeah, just start sh- dragging the furniture that's in the the checkpoint. Like, yeah, lock the door the and then it starts barric- barricading that door. Uh, yeah, those things are going to eat their way through. Okay, good news, bad news. We're almost out of here. Good news, bad news. There's more Someone... soldiers in the direction that we came. Someone says to uh, Butt Trumpet, you're not sure who it is, Butt Trumpet, you hear, can you do that spell again? Arcane Lock? Yeah. Carry me over. Get it's the fastest way. Eldred comes over, lifts you up, go takes you over there. Boop. And you you see what looks like a a padlock a, made out of skittles appear on the the doorknob and then just kind of sink into the mm. the part Look of the lock. Look at the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. This episode is not sponsored by any candy companies, but how awesome would it be if it was? <laughs> That'd be great. Then we could eat candy while we play this. Uh, we would just have to ask so, Reed to make sure he unwraps it all before we start. Um, yeah. I've been I've been stealthily avoiding checking my candy over here, but <laughs> if you must know, I have some. Ah, uh, milk duds <laughs> or, or junior yeah. mints. I'm not sure. Close, close. <laughs> Think okay. of non-chocolate. <laughs> Perhaps they're Mike, uh, Mike and Ike's. I oh, called it Mike. before I came up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh just happy. Gosh. Oh god, what's the terrible version of those? Um, good and plenties. Good and plenties. Yes. Oh. Oh, they are not good, plenties. but there are plenty of them. Anyway, we gotta break out yeah. of prison. <laughs> <laughs> the candy yeah. debate happening. Okay, yeah, the <laughs> great candy debate of 2024. <laughs> Okay, so this you're really here. Important. Uh, butt trumpet has both doors arcane locked. What? What? Our is candy it? lock. Our candy locked. We lo- well, the, yeah. So candy what we want to lock. stack up on the door to the north. We need to unlock that. Uh, subdue the guards in there, and then continue. How messed up are people now that I'm thinking it out loud here and we have a quick moment? I'm not feeling great. One of those mages, I did something, they talked at me, and it made me feel like I was being ripped apart. From and inside. Oh. Now I, I still feel ripped apart. I feel awful. Gotcha. Okay. You, you then, see uh, we're Rune take... just looks like he has been painted in very wet, deep red. And you can see that the gray shadow has quite a bit of... Uh... So uh, this is how we'll do this, Paul. Uh, I'm going to cast Aura Vitality. So this is... I have a minute of casting here. So I'll get 10 rounds of healing. As Gaius is hearing every, all, looking at all the damage around him, he takes out a little bit of a wineskin and just sprinkles a little bit on the ground. Bacchus, this is a time where I need to do this fast and clean and get us out of here. And as the wine hits the ground, you see it leech in. And around every person that has been damaged, great vines start wrapping around their legs. And I guess I'll start with Viv. You will start off with 12 healing. All right, so you'll get an, another dose then. Nice. And that's another 13. Shadow next, Paul. Then uh, I'll start off with two doses for him at 14 and 12 so a total of 26 could he still use some healing oh yeah oh yeah so another 14 another 12 another 26 points of healing okay he's still a little wounded but he looks he, he looks worlds better okay so uh this will be for Groon next okay i know he's messed up so yeah. I'll immediately start with a double dose 28 for him okay on the first round of healing uh, so, is there anyone else that's really bad off in the party, or is it just Groon at this point? Is is Kalandra, I got okay. two more. Kalandra has like... 
Philandra's fine because I think when she was laying hands on on Edward Andrews, I think somehow touching him was also at some point she must have been healing herself or in whatever type of magic she does by laying hands on him, she was also getting a benefit as well. By laying him, she laid herself. A hit point? Is this a hit point benefit or some other benefit? <laughs> uh, that is a life cleric benefit at one point. Nobody else is really messed up, so I, I'll just give the last two to, to Groon then. Okay. Just so uh, having him around sounds like an excellent idea. 13 and 11, so another 24 points of healing okay. for Groon. Uh, you do this, and Reed and Vivalda, you've been hearing the screams from the other side of the <laughs> that door. And mm -hmm. as Gaius casts that last spell, you, from the other side, the cell, the room you're in actually shivers as you hear this loud explosion from mm -hmm. over on the other side of the door, and the door bulges for a brief second. And there's oh. a moment of of just a high-pitched tone and then all of a sudden you start hearing more screaming and and but you're hearing moans as well what do you think that was um explosion in confined spaces oh that is definitely magic yeah we should get out of here like, i wonder if it's like yes, an explosion indeed. of bunnies you know what that sounds Maybe like squirrels. Not our problem. Squirrels. we need to go <laughs> there could be a whole lot of squirrels on the other side of that door now yep that's exactly what it is Fucking terror squirrels. So we'll unlock the arcane lock on the north door and okay. go and deal with the guards that are there. And then we can rappel down the one entrance we went down and then follow our footsteps back out. You think any of the any of you wizards could maybe like make the guards just let us pass with a neat spell like that? Um Reed, let me uh let me just kinda break it down for you. Last time uh -huh. I attempted to charm a person, we got bunnies. So that was good, not good, right? I thought they were good at first. Well, mm. you know, I thought so, but now they're causing a revolution. Hmm. So I'd okay. rather not run that risk again, personally. And God okay. forbid it well, failed. But you did just make, like, candy stuff, so that's I pretty did, good. I did, I did. Do we want me to attempt it before we go to what the plan will probably end up being? At, at the very least, Bud Trumpet, you can try just talking to them and say, Hey, the beast have broken into the prison. We all need to leave and save ourselves. You should do the same thing. I will let you know, it only works on one creature at a time, one humanoid at a time. So depending mm. on their numbers, well, I don't know how convincing it will be. Oh, I was just talking about being persuasive. What if you used the guard uniforms and Eldred made the rest of us invisible and then you guys just usher them into this room and we all sneak out invisibly and you mm. use your guard uniforms to say that, that door's stuck over there now too. And they all go over and try to get through that door and they leave us alone. Vivalda, so you know, your, your uniform... It's not in tatters, but it's definitely sustained quite a bit of damage. You do, you uh, definitely don't look like a pristine guard. While we're all talking, I'm gonna change into one of the other armors that was in this room. I think there was a woman in here. I'm gonna put yeah, on her armor. Yeah, there was. So that's no problem. While this is happening, uh, I guess I'll be like, you know what? That's not a terrible idea. Maybe we can bluff our way past this time. I'll prepare. And Gaius pulls out a book. It's blank but he cast Borrow Knowledge. And I now have proficiency in deception this time, <laughs> instead okay. of... Reed, you see, you see the door handle kind of jostle, and then all of a sudden there's a banging, a bunch of banging on the door saying, let us in, let us in, please! We're all trying to get out of here. We're taking the prisoners with us as well so they don't needlessly die to the beasts kind of thing. It's the humane thing to do. Mm. And I might imply that we also might use them as human shields to get past them. Are we able to perhaps <laughs> undo the lock on the southern door to as soon as we leave so that they can escape? Or would that be... I'd have to go all the way over there, unlock it, and then come all the way to catch up to you. And my movement has been halved with my candy coating. Oh, right. yeah. right. We want to do you have it. Have to then. touch it. Yep, I got to I got to boop it. 
Well, I feel bad, but oh well. <laughs> Hard county is a creamy, tasty center. <laughs> There's a bunch of decapitated yeah. bodies on the other side of that door that I'm just not going to deal with at the moment. Yeah, yeah, things went a little sideways. Funny. You hear, dun, 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 dun. Sorry. It's all right, bud. It's all right. You had to do what you had to do. I guess we go through and try to bluster our way past them. And then if that doesn't work, we okay. fight. Let's go. We walk to them. Yes. We walk to them. Okay, so who's going in what order? Well, I do have to be able to unlock the door. Why have you over by the door? I think as soon so, as Bunchy unlocks it, it's me and Gaius. And I'm give myself guidance, because I have a feeling I'm going to need it to try to bullshit these people. You ready? Yep. And boop! It's just like a sea of guards. There's hundreds. <laughs> 300 up in this bitch. Oh, no. This is what the taxes go to? Jeez. What if we all just ran? <laughs> we had a plan, Viv. Uh, I mean, you, we could have had it before the door opened. <laughs> as soon as the door opens, Viv is like, abort, abort. So Butt Trumpet opens the door, Gaius and Viv go through, and you see the hallway is empty. Oh, let, let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. Let's just... Gaius goes, goes up to the edge over here and kind of like peeks around to see... If there's someone in the corridor to the left. You peek around and you see the door to that cell open up and two guards come out looking very, very shaky with their swords aimed at you going, halt, halt, halt. And like looking all Relax. around. And be Relax. past them, past yeah. them, you can see a bunch of guards without armor on. Gentlemen, we have a problem. No, the beasts shit. from the lower, the beasts from the lower levels are coming up and attacking. They're overrunning the dungeon area. We need to evacuate. And he says, "I repeat, no fucking shit." I know for a fact. Uh, um, there's a way over the, over and points in the general direction that leads to the tunnels where the, these things are coming from, but it leads out. I don't know how far they've overrun. We've barricaded the last door out of here. We just heard more people die, and we need to go. Guards come up to the the intersection of the paths, kind of with his sword still kind of aimed at you, and like sticks his head out and looks up and down, looks all around, and and looks as friends at the other guards. And looks like it's clear, and they all start moving forward. All right, the guy guys points to the cell that we had used to infiltrate initially. Okay. It's like, listen, I know for a fact, I did some exploring. That cell, the chute, leads down. We can use that as an exit. We need to go. They go, you shouldn't Guys, be. Guys, like. We, we can't let you leave. If you don't. Listen, man. I don't want anyone to die, man. I just. We're trying to all get out of here together. That's not even a guarantee. This is just a chance. You, you hear Smith, Jones. Can you hear me? And you're. Yeah, we're here. Up ahead. Looks like the case is clear. And from further up, you see a couple of guards come forward. And the guard that was talking to you says, Okay, you said there's a tunnel out of the prison? Show me. There is. And Gaius will go up toward the door where the initial th uh, thing was and go open the door, swing it open. Gaius and Vivalda, give me a perception check. Go, go, Ooh. perception. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. 19 for me. I, no problem. Nat 20. Okay. Sick. You get up to the next intersection. You didn't notice this before, but with those rolls, you, you notice that using you as kind of blockage of view, Phineas kind of weaves around you and goes ahead of to the two of you down the hallway. Oh, goodness. And you see there are three guards coming out looking all around. And the guards are looking and they go, who are you? We're the best chance you guys have of surviving this creature attack. There's a way to exfiltrate the prison over this way. If you want to live and see your families in the morning, this is the way you gotta go. All that I know is I heard both guards and mages dying to these things. 
all of a sudden you see the two guards closest to you just kind of standing there staring at you. No reaction. Hello. We don't have like, time for this. S- snapping my fingers in front of them, like, uh, you like present or what's going on here? No reaction. Guys, anyone? I turn to the ones I actually talk to. And the one behind him is going, guys, let me out of here. And it's the other guard, like, trying to push by. And he pushes by down here. And you see a kid with very pale skin, long dark hair in his face, sunken eyes, standing in the doorway with a big smile on his face. In a guard uniform? Nope, in in a prison uniform. Okay, who are you? He just, his attention from the guards just turns to you, and he just smiles, and he goes, He said he would save me. He said he would save me. I told him. I knew he would save me. I knew he would come for me. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be fun. All those days of treating me like that, they will regret it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, what's your name? Bud? You hear the door further down the hallway open. About two seconds later, you hear a scream. (laughs) And you hear a bunch of chittering. From the north? Yep. Hmm. We have to go. There's more beasts to the north now, and that's our exit point. Hey, kid, uh, are you, like, mind-controlling all these guys right now? Uh, Because if so... You need to, like, send them north and if you want to live. And at that point, you see on the guard in front of you gets tackled by one of those spider beast things. Spider dog lizard things. Mother. Ah. And you can see past, Gaius. You can see back by the door. You can see one of these creatures on top of something just kind of shaking and ripping and and just savagely attacking something. Yeah. Mm. I don't think we can... <laughs> Gaius leads over to Viv. I don't think we gotta worry about Phineas and any moral repercussions of him escaping. I'm, I'm not paying attention to him at all. And the... Uh... Uh, I wouldn't either, but it's so crunchy. Why? And the guard in front of you there has been attacked. So the guardsman's still in this, like, topper... What's going on with them? Are they uh, reacting the two to, to their your friends? right are just standing there, not moving. But the guys behind like us are frozen. acting like normal. What? But the guys behind us are acting like normal guards people, though. Uh, they're acting like really scared guards people at the moment. Good, good. Um, hey, it's all of us versus the beasts, right, guys? As guys looks behind them, like, yeah, good, <laughs> good. We're all on the same team right. here. They got the same idea. Um, Viv, we're going to slowly back out of this nonsense. Um, right. with, with Viv and I having turns one right after the other, Paul, I guess we're going to back up together. We're going to start with you, Gaius. You're going to go first. So this thing is right on top of me, or is the, the guard it's, that was in front of me? It's on the it's back between. of the guard right in front of you. So it's it's busy on him. Yeah. Is he still alive, or is, was he one of the ones that I, was kind of, like, messed up? No, 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 no. The He came from, uh... The cell oh, with the from kid. Okay. Yeah. The two two guards and him, two got frozen. He yeah. did not. Okay. And he's like, hey guys, quit joking around. What's going on? And they kind of went into the hallway ahead on yeah, the yeah. other side of you. Okay. So he's he's acting like a normal person. Gotcha. Uh I just if that's the case, then Gaius is uh, at least gonna take a swing at this thing that's on him to see if he can knock it loose. Okay. Go um go go Warhammer. Go, go, Gaius Warhammer. Yeah, uh, 24 to hit. That hits. That is 8 damage. I, like, try to pull this other guard out of there, like, the guard that's being attacked, like, as I hit this thing upside the head, can I try, like, dragging him away? You can try. What, like, uh, athletic strength kind of thing going on here? So, 15. Okay, we'll say that you're able to pull him back with you. Yeah, uh, so guys just, like, uppercuts the thing in the head, knocking it off, and grabs him, like, under his shoulder and starts dragging him away. Okay, anything else? Uh, yeah, so I'll drag him past Viv. Uh, I guess because I'm dragging him, I got, like, half the movement speed or something. Oh. Yeah, 
I'll I'll give okay. you uh what's your full movement? Uh twenty five. I figure I just catch up with the guards back there, basically. Okay. You gotta go, Viv. Viv, it is your turn. Okay. So these two guards are being mind controlled by the kid, right? Yeah, they're just frozen. How old is the kid roughly? Fourteen or fifteen? Mm, right at the cusp of age Viv... where you would feel real bad about things. <laughs> Uh, he's Viv is going to approach the kid and just... I'm he's going about to the you. age I... of the one that Gaius saw in the house. I'm she sorry, comes go comes up to him. Yeah. I'm going to protect you. Can you work with me? You'll have to squeeze between the two guards that were standing side by side. But if you want to do that, that's fine. The kid is standing there. You get right up to him. Will you work with me? He doesn't even seem to notice you. He's just like... See that I am very thankful for this chance to do what you bet, what you begot of me. You know that what I am capable. Of. Come on, she's going to try and grab him by the arm and pull him along. Okay, he comes. He comes along like a bit of a rag doll, and you just hear laughter as he does. Okay. Um, I'm going to catch up with the others if I can. We'll put you right behind uh, Gaius, the kid right behind you. Anything else you'd like to do, Vivalda? I have my shield out. I'm just going to try and protect me and this kid if anything attacks us. Okay, but how are you protecting now, this kid? Because you know the creatures are behind where he is. I'm going to pull him in front of me and just kind of push him shoulder-wise. Guys, right, like, practically in your ear, you're hearing laughter and the pain we will cause. He will be so pleased. He will thank me. Oh. Followed by okay, giggling gonna... and laughter. Okay, I'll pack that later. Butt trumpet is your turn. Um, okay. So you had opened up the door. Mm-hmm. They had gone forward. Did you kind of stay in the doorway around the corner? What did you do? I stayed kind of like, I opened the door and then sort of... Okay. Back up to be able to peek if I could. You hear some discussion between Gaius and obviously a guard and the guard saying, we can't let you leave. Who are you? No fucking kidding. Stuff like that. Then... Shortly thereafter, you hear another guard or somebody say, Hey, guys, quit kidding around. What are you doing? And then you hear a door open and like a second layer followed by screaming that after a few moments is cut short and you don't hear that screaming anymore. And then shortly thereafter, you hear another set of screaming a lot closer. And all of a sudden you see these guards charging the door. That you just opened. Yeah, huh. Maybe look at everybody going, uh, hide? Hide, baby? Hide, baby, perhaps? Big spookies. Big bad spookies. Not looking forward to this. At, when Butt Trumpet says that, I just look up at Groot. I'm like, um, hide him? <laughs> you know, I was not, I didn't have a plan for this. But, uh, I'll do if I can get <laughs> Reed goes, hide him to Groon, and you see Groon just go, okay. If anyone needs to survive, it's him. Anything else? Yeah, everyone else is expendable. <laughs> anything else you'd like to do there, Butt Trumpet? If I can't see anything that's going on, then it's probably best that I don't for right now. I'd be more useful if it wasn't metagaming. <laughs> Eldred uh, helps the Grey Shadow push Butterbeer and Andrews and the merchant into that where his cell was. And uh, that's what he's doing. Reed, it is your turn. And Calandra's going in there too. Does that mean Butt Trevor went in there? No. Nope. You just hear Calandra go, Mr. Andrews, where are you going? So she puts down Butt Trumpet. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, she had to put Butt Trumpet down anyway to kind of get to the lock, I think. All right, and I see guards coming in? Not necessarily, because you have, you have Groon in front of you. You hear Butt Trumpet say, hide, hide everyone, hide. I, I try to instruct Groon to go, to get behind that door. Slumber party? 
Uh, please no, don't put anything gonna... happen to him. Please, like, see... don't don't have us fall in love with this darling creature. I just kind of look at Butt Trumpet, and I kind of like, you know, what? I don't want to get locked in there. What are we doing? <laughs> We're not locking it. Well, I don't know what's going on yet. Okay, so I guess I wait. Okay, to see who's coming in the room. I'm waiting for Gaius and Viv to come back. Or no problem. Uh, Groon and Calandra go through the door. And all of a sudden, you see a bunch of guards come in. Some wearing armor, some basically just in their skivvies. One or two pass you, butt trumpet, and kind of look at you and go, What the? Oh, sweet. <clears throat> Perfect. Two come up to you, uh, read, and are just kind of stop and look at you and going, Out of the way. Okay. I get out of the way. <laughs> and they put, they basically just push past you. As long as they don't attack me, I don't attack them. They're going to be and so disappointed when they get to that door. Vivaldo, you see this thing charge you from behind. You, uh, uh give me a perception check. All right, that's good. 21. Okay. You see two of these beasts make a left towards the, the cell that you just brought the kid out of and tackle these two, uh, these frozen guards uh the mm. one that was on on phineas is still just kind of ripping to shreds and one jumps over phineas and guys you still have that guard right yeah uh is he like conscious alive like yeah he's he's pretty messed up though so uh, if anything i'm getting him to like i'm pushing him behind me i'm like go man go okay and the one that was like right on his back basically comes along and is on you vivalda now that would be a miss and a natural 20. oh ow no critical critical 18 points of damage Whew, okay oh geez just takes one of those sharp knife-like spider legs and just rakes it down your back. Ow! It is Gaius's turn. Uh, I need to make the creature that just attacked Viv to make a wisdom saving throw. Seven. Gaius just points his finger at it and stop, and uses command. And then all of a sudden, he sounds like the voice of a deity, and the beast stops attacking Vivalda. Well, Lee and he grabs Viv and starts moving with her back. Basically, it wouldn't affect, uh, affect the undead. Okay. And uh, as long as it's not a command that would directly harm it. Like, I couldn't go. Okay, so it doesn't have to understand like, jump off common or anything. Oh, mm, that's a good question. You know what? It might uh, That might not work. It doesn't understand any languages, huh? I mean, these are your creatures, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, no, it doesn't understand common. Okay. It does understand any language by its own all right so i guess we could say i just uh wait uh the spell didn't take effect so that was my action but guys will uh basically assist uh vivalda leaving this thing okay. is it on top of her or it is not on top of her it's right behind her and you saw this n large sword like leg like yeah. basically slice down down her back so uh basically I'll, I'll take my movement action and i'll be just trying to hustle injured guard and now injured vivalda along as much as i can and and the kid that is right kind of on your back mm, yeah i didn't say him <laughs> but i'm definitely gonna take care of the guard and vivalda okay because i'm getting creepy uh, children of the corn vibe from uh the other kid so I might accidentally forget him. Vivalda, you uh, you are being pulled by Gaius. Do you continue? And to I'm keep... pushing the kid in front of me. Okay, so it's one <laughs> big mass. Vivalda, give me a dexterity roll, please. Oh, not good. Seven. Okay, there's a lot of tripping about between the guard and the kid. The kid, but the kid doesn't even seem to care. Uh, he's just kind of laughing the whole time, Gaius. And he's kind of just being, it's almost like he's being pushed on your back. And Vivalda's mm. coming along. You get to the guard, to the door. Vivalda, is your turn. It's not pretty, but it's it's mostly effective. Yeah. Mm. Just keeping my shield 
like probably putting it on my back now since that's where all the attacks are coming from. Um, she's going to continue using her movement to kind of push everybody back into that room. But Trumba, you see a guard come through and Gaius and a strange looking kid Death who like? uh, end up like right at the doorway there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the guard come comes pushing through and it, the guard looks pretty messed up. But they they come through and start stumbling around towards their their other compatriots. As the moment Viv gets through the doorway, she's going to shout out to Butchum, but to lock the door. That is what I was going to ask. Cool. Then once everyone's through the door who I want through the door that I give a shit about, we're going to close and boop that bitch. Vivaldo, is there anything else you'd like to do? Am I able to like use my dash action to kind of continue to keep pushing to make sure we get through that door. Yeah. Um, awesome. I'm getting us through. Guys, <laughs> give me a dexterity check, please. That didn't go well. I'm okay. throwing you. <laughs> I am I am like twice your twice your mass. Yeah, but you obviously have stumbled over the legs of the kid who's practically on your back. Ugh. So I'm going to give you one more dexterity roll just to see if you keep your feet as you're stuck in the doorway there. I'm sure this will go well. 15. All right. Okay, you do keep your feet, but you're in the doorway. and I just kicked that kid real hard. <laughs> So. He's kind of on your back, under your arm, sort of situation. Okay. Are we nah, off the door? Touch. Did we make it? Not touch oh no, them. no, they're... Gaius and the kid are kind of blocked. They stumbled and couldn't get through the door. Guys, okay. But Trump, oh, you door. know. Well, if they're blocking the door, I can't do shit, can I? Guess Unless not. I can see between their legs. You could try. Can I see through their legs? Yeah, I mean you're small enough. What do I see through their legs? Uh, <laughs> blade-like spider legs kind of go... Nope! I am going to attempt to pop rocks Eldritch Blast through their legs to at least push the thing back a little bit. Okay, Shooter. go ahead. Shooter! 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 <laughs> 13? That misses, but you have more You have uh, more attacks, right, with that? I do. I have another bolt. Wow. Just not allowed to have anything nice. Vivolda, Gaius, and possibly this kid, hear this sputtering crackling go beneath you and past you at a pretty fast rate of speed, and then just sounds like a bunch of firecrackers behind you, and Vivolda, you... Uh, there's this very active flavor of what color was it, Butt Trumpet? Red. Cherry kind of bursting Ooh. all around behind you. I hope those spider creatures like the taste of that. And I hope they get distracted by that smell. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to do there, Butt Trumpet? Well, too bad I can't summon any peanut butter wafer covered in chocolate because apparently I've got butter fingers. But I'm sh- uh, no, I'm good. Okay. Reed, it is your turn. So dramatic. Okay. I want to rush up next to Butt Trumpet and prepare to help shut the door once our friends are through. I want to get. I don't want to be in their way though. Anything else? That guard. That that's a guard right next to me. Yeah, a okay. very I, injured I tell guard. To, I tell and he's heading away from you. I'm like scooch, scooch, go, go around the corner. Anything <laughs> else you'd like to do besides? Go, scooch, scooch, scooch. Um, scooch. Um, I'm encouraging uh, Vivalda and Gaius to hurry up, <laughs> get through the door. If I can give them aid in not fumbling through the doorway, I will do so. Guards all make it over here and are trying the door. Vivalda, this one is on top of you, and at the same time, you see another one come running up behind it and kind of leaps on the wall and goes past to attack Gaius. Oh god. They weren't distracted by the the cherry smell. (laughs) An eight 
on you, Kovalda? Yeah. A 16? Damage or to hit? To hit. No. And a, and a and 16? 16? No. Okay, on Gaius, a 2. Excuse me, that's a nope. 7. Nope. And a 14. Negatory. They use the child as a shield and deflect the blows. No! <laughs> He's only 14 or 15. I can't tell. Is that why you're saving him? His indeterminate age bracket? <laughs> As I huck him into the... No! <laughs> so you're all pressed up into that doorway. That's so you're yeah. kind of... No. Yeah, no. Uh, I'm, I'm kidding about that. Only uh -huh. sort of. Definitely kidding <laughs> We're about all joking that. here. All yeah, joking. We're all... Ha -ha. Yeah, it's all ha ha ha. Yeah, I wouldn't <laughs> kill the creepy kid. Yeah, they would never do anything like that. Ever. It seems the kid finds this hysterical. He continues to laugh. So, I'm so glad. Oh, oh yeah. God, he is definitely fine. not. Mm. Guy is, is, is your turn. Yeah. Uh, so, going to continue to assist people moving back. And I guess I will take a swing at the thing that's next to me and then try to attack me. <laughs> if I do so, the zoom tight. <laughs> Uh, a 22 uh, definitely hits. And I do 11 smackaroonie to it. As as this thing bites down and tries to wrestle my shield away, I just swing at the side of its head with my hammer, knocking it off. And okay. step back through the door while keeping, like, trying to guide Viv back with me. Yeah, Viv, yeah just Viv. Because the only <laughs> other person there. As far as I know. Vivalda, what are you doing as Gaius tries to pull you through the door? As he's like reaching for me, I definitely am still holding this kid like tight against me and like letting him pull me, but I'm carrying the kid with me. Gaius, give me another dexterity check, please. For the simple reason yeah. that you're still trying to squeeze through this door with this kid basically all on your back yeah. and with butt Thir trumpet to the left and read to the right. I'm stuck in the middle with him. 13 total? Yeah. Stuck in the middle with all of them. Ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. Okay. So you and the kid are through. Vivalda, uh, I'm, you're right I'm going doorway. with that kid. It's, it's your turn. As I'm crossing through the doorway, I'm going to try and slice at this monster um, while coming through. Okay. And the moment I'm in, I'm going to tell Butch to lock the door, but I'm going to attack. And I throw the kid in it as a distraction to help. No! So Gaius is through the door, but it, it's still it's tight there because like there's one area, and two we have him and a kid kind of occupying it at the moment. So you're kind of in the doorway there, Bavalda. Yeah, I just my back to them. Try to do one last slash. I think I miss an eleven. Okay. Yes, that misses. All right, and with the rest of my movement, I'm just gonna push past the door and shut it as fast as I can and pull butt trumpet to, to lock it to the side. Okay. <laughs> just grab my little tiny wrist and just like press my finger on the door. And I am like pushing against the door as hard as I physically can to make sure that it, they can't pu uh, push it down before butt trumpet locks it. Okay, like an well, elevator button at 430. At this point, you can't get through the door because it's so crowded on the other side. No. Guys. Because you've got the kid, you've got Gaius, and you've got Butt Trumpet on one side and Reed on the other. Remember, I I'm yell still... at Reed and... to move. Okay. <laughs> People can go through my square. I promise I'm not in the way. I'm not supposed to be, at least. <laughs> Gaius, walk over Reed. What? Throw the kid? No! <laughs> Use him as a distraction. This brilliant idea. Yeah, like we step out of the way, obviously. So is that it, Vivalda? All I can do is okay. get these people to move with my orders. I'm trying my best to push through. Okay, Butt Trumpet, what are you doing? Your turn. I am locking the fuck out of that door the minute Viv is through. Okay, so you're just still holding your action? Oh, I, oh can I do something and then lock the door? Locking doesn't have to be my action? Well, if you lock, if you shut and lock the door, you'll be locking Vivalda out at this point because she's not through it yet. I keep waiting for her to get through. <laughs> yeah, I think they're holding their action still. Okay. Unless I can try again with the pop rocks. Go ahead. You can do that. Might as well. Yeah. Fuck it, right? I get another one. 
Oh my god! <laughs> uh, Fuck these it could, have been, it could have been worse. Not much, but it could have been a little bit what worse. What color were these, butt trumpet? Fucking blue! Okay, blue raspberry sparkles. The air is very sweetly scented blue raspberry. I am getting a sensory overload from how much I am smelling. Yes. Mary, I feel like you have been Okay. Reed, it is your turn. So am I, am I actually in the way? It's, it's really tight there, and you've got the door and the wall on one side. And the grating well, I feel, on I feel the other. I feel stupid. I feel like I went over there to help, but I didn't really think I was actually going to be in the way. So I will move out of the way if that's the problem. Okay. It's oh, just a matter that you, you have this mass of people coming through the door with nowhere to go, really. Right. And I was I said I wanted to try and help them through if I could. So I will just... Okay, you can try to pull. You have Gaius and this kid that you've seen once before kind of just yeah, pop through the door. You can try yeah. to do something. I, I will pull Gaius with me down the little hallway there. The kid comes along too. Mm. I don't like him. I don't like him at all. <laughs> you mm. worry about that when Viv is through the door. Yep. <laughs> Anything else, Reed? No, that's all I'll do. You hear these guards going, It won't open! It won't open! Get your keys! I'm trying my keys! I we're open and you hear it well let me try let me try quick we gotta get the fuck out of here i just i kind of holler over to them i'm just like yeah keep keep trying that <laughs> <laughs> one of them's bound to work one is attacking your back there vivalda i i love to hear it how and much one kind of squeezes through over top of you no to head to, to strike butt trumpet We'll do butt trumpet first, because I think that would be the first one. That is a 14 butt trumpet. That just hits with my new armor. This thing fits through the door before and a nine. I do. So <laughs> well, it, it finally got cleared up with Reed pulling Gaius and the kid out of the way. Yeah, and it took the opening before I could. Okay. I can't, I can't win here. I was trying to help. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I don't think any of us can win right now. <laughs> you know, if it wasn't for the, the grating being there, this wouldn't have been a problem. But it was like coming through the door, there was only five feet and nowhere mm -hmm. else to go. I what wish Viv manage? was a barbarian so she could rage right now. That would be amazing. <laughs> What's the damage? Eight points of damage. Yeah. As this blade-like, spider-like leg comes and just kind of goes down the front of you, you see a few chips of little quartz like crystals shatter and <gasps> burst into more sugary dust oh gosh my the one on my the one on my back did it did it hit or no it's just i'm on about me. ready to do you do your attack that's that's great okay a, a, a natural 20 again i'm very sorry <laughs> oh bye guys and a seven seven no can so we not a... kill so... a really great character <laughs> So that's a two plus three is five. So five times two is ten. I'm still up. Fuck you, spiders. Okay, and Gaius, it is your turn. Is it you just see, the one? You see this creature come through the doorway and leap onto Butt Trumpet. Gotcha. And you see Vivalda right at the doorway fighting off this other one. Yeah, so I'll go to the one that um, is trying to develop diabetes by consuming Butt Trumpet. And uh, I will uh, try to s smite thee. Have at thee, beast. Uh, 19. That, uh, that hits. And guys comes charging in and takes a step. And then, like, just brings down the hammer on, the, on its back for nine damage. Anything else you would like to do? We'll say you swap uh, spots with Kid Emo there. With, yeah, with... with. A hot topic. No, no I don't. I, I gotta. I gotta restrain with some spells here. So uh, yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. If I see that kid try anything funny, keep an eye. He's gonna. It's gonna give him a stern talking to. <laughs> <laughs> what now, what's the 
Give him some what fours. No worthers for you. Bavalda, it's your turn. I'm going to try and just get off of this thing and get in the room. So Picking your... it backward so it's off of me. I don't want to bring this thing into the room. Okay. Um. So I think I'm going to try and kick it off and disengage and run in. Okay, give me a strength. We'll do a strength challenge here. That's an 18. Versus a four. Nice. Okay. I kick that thing. <laughs> you get in. I'm going to a shut that door. A pass is swinging door. spiked tail. So you are in. Shut that door. Can I still attack or was that um, action my attack? Because it's so tight, uh, I'll give you an attack. Awesome. I'm going to chop off its tail. The one that's on butt trumpet. Thanks. Um, it looks almost like a giant pine cone at the end, except instead of those brown kind of rounded petal like things, it's spikes. Let's see. Give me something good. 15. That misses, unfortunately. Oh, OK. Worth a shot. Things really tried. waving around really fast. Anything else you would like to do? <sighs> Just holding that door shut until Butt Trumpet's able to lock it. That's all I can do. But Trumpet, you have this cr this spider lizard dog-like creature on top of you with these sword-like legs that are kind of... I'm sorry. Did Viv not shut the door? Because I could have sworn. Viv shut the door. But unfortunately, one of the creatures is on your side of it. I am going to cast Acid Splash on this thing. It needs to make a deck saving throw. A four. No. 7 points of acid damage. And what color was the acid splash? Hmm. Let's make this turquoise. Uh, We're not sure what flavor it is, but it's incredibly, it's almost pure sugar that splashes all around into a color, a powder blue dust. It's cool, eh? And as you look around, <laughs> as you look around, Butt Trumpet, you notice everyone kind of, it's almost like they have multicolored kind of very fine glitter all over them. Us, us yeah, too? Yeah, it's from all the candy dust that you've been walking through and fighting through. That's nice. great. We smell amazing. Awesome. Masks the scent of blood. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you'd like to do there, Butt Trumpet? I don't suppose I'd be allowed a bonus action of being able to boop the door lock so the rest of those things can't get in there and the rest of us can gang up on this bitch until it dies. But that was your, that was your action, unfortunately. Then I don't want to do anything. Okay. <laughs> but you did do something. Don't feel bad. You're going to be okay, Bud Trumpet. I can't say the same about myself, but... <laughs> now you're fine. Reed, it is your turn. Okay. Can I climb on this cage and get over everybody and drop down on the back of this thing? Give me a dexterity roll. This is acrobatics basically just acrobatics because this is pretty much the climbing I'm going to say is easy. It's the making sure that you drop down on the creature. You got it. Woohoo! 23. Roll the hit. Awesome. Oh, are you kidding me? I rolled two twos! <laughs> God dang! Oh my I god. Just, I just imagine I just Reed falling down and just like on top of it. Like, huh. I face it into its back of its head. So, do you have two attacks though? Because you're a rogue, right? No. Can you attack with two daggers? No? I had the sword out. I didn't have my dagger. Oh. So, uh, Vivolda pushes into the room and is able to shut the door behind her and takes a swipe at this thing's tail. Butt Trumpet shoots acid splash at it, and, and this colored powder blue dust fills the air. And Butt Trumpet and Vivaldo are just kind of like, huh? And as you're going, huh? This would be halfling comes dropping from the ceiling and just lands face first on the floor. You just hear my face like muffled in the floor. I'm like, 
tropical punch smell. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, am I prone? Yes. <gasps> oh, God. Welcome to the scrum. If I can, I look up at my trumpet and just go, sorry, I'm trying. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> you hear the guards look over and yell to you, why won't this open? Uh, magics? There's more of them on that side. And butt trumpet. I'm on. getting attacked. <laughs> <laughs> there are more pressing things right now. Butt trumpet, a 15 on you and an 11. Okay, well, the 15 hits, the 11 does not. Five points of damage from this blade, like just kind of raising up and kind of stabbing down at you. And okay. once again, a number of your a little spiked crystals shatter into dust all around you. <laughs> I, contrary to the name, I'm not everlasting! Guys, it is your turn. And you also, on the door, hear lots of... Gaius sees that, um, Buttrump is getting mauled, and stows his hammer, and let's see if I can actually pull this off first before I articulate what I'm... Oh, yeah. <gasps> uh... Wraps his arm around its throat, getting it into a chokehold and an unarmed attack, doing seven damage, wrenching it off butt trumpet and dragging it away from them so they can use the arcane lock on the door. We'll be grappling the creature. So I don't okay. know if we need to do a strength off or what. Before we do that, I need to know if you're pulling them towards reed or towards viv uh, i was gonna say i guess towards reed it's a little less crowded that way okay and that way viv can assist with uh assist butt trumpet with securing the door okay so you could yeah i'm still up against that door yeah dive and grab it around the the, the long neck and use, I, your and I kind of use to... my my momentum and the body weight and i kick right. it i kick myself south just bringing it down and away. Okay. Just straight up WWE move. I am going to give you advantage on this strength roll because you have the momentum in your favor. A 15. 14. So yeah, you get it off of butt trumpet. Yeah. Basically just full on run, wrap my arm around it. And the momentum of me just goes carrying it by it. And then all however many pounds plus armor I am combined. Okay. Drag it to the floor away from the door and a butt trump and viv. And I imagine me slamming it down to the ground is what did the damage. Very good. Anything else you'd like to do? Uh, that's so, uh, with the, the grapple, the attack, and everything, that's all my actions. Viv, it is your turn. So, can Viv actually hold her action until butt trumpet locks Hell the door? Yeah. Yes. And then I will attack the door is locked okay i'm holding that door until butt trumpet locks it then <laughs> butt trumpet is your turn all eyes are on your little candy coating i slam my hand door and lock it and say fucking poop <laughs> that's what everybody sees hey. wonderful <laughs> And you see the door around all the seams, just kind of a crackling of different colored sparkles and dust just kind of fall. And there is just a rain of, of sugar everywhere. Good. I'm going to take my sword out and I'm going to stab this monster. Do I get advantage because Gaius is holding it? Yeah, no. I'll give you advantage on that. 17. That just hits. Yes! Okay. That is seven piercing damage. Anything else you'd like to do? That's all I got. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to be there ready to keep stabbing if need be. Okay. Be nice if these guards helped out, but they're too busy looking at a lock. Well, no, they're watching from the other side and just kind of... That's so nice of them. Uh, Reed... <laughs> I'm glad so my you... taxes are going to good use. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, think about it. You obviously aren't other guards. You were trying to go to a tunnel that got you out. This is what? one way of How taking care of you. Out? <laughs> uh, what? It's crazy. <laughs> so, Reed, 
Yeah. You yes. fell from the ceiling flat, had a little bit of air knocked out of you, and as you inhaled breath, it was all sugary sweet. And mm -hmm. then you, all of a sudden, you see Gaius come diving over Butt Trumpet, grabbing this thing, and because of the momentum, the two of them just kind of roll over your prone body next to you onto the ground. Oh, no. Read the steel chair! <laughs> And this, this sugary dust just kind of bursts up in a cloud as they do so. I hop up, and I will take my stab at it. Well, you get advantage. Oh, cool. Thank God, because I roll a stinking three. Can I roll higher than a three, please? Ah, oh, really? God damn it. Oh, no. Oh. A three and a two. Wow. Anything else you would like to do there, Reed? I just inhale. It's so awful because you dust. don't you get the one thing too? Yes, a one would be way better than a two. <laughs> I've rolled three twos and a three in my last. You know what? I'm like so close to this thing. I'm just gonna lean on it and just be like, whatever, dude. <laughs> I I obviously can't hit you with a weapon. I can't hit it with a weapon. I'm just gonna hang the on. Steel to it. chair, read the steel chair. I come see a chair. If it attacks you, just jump off of it, and then it attacks itself. Let's let's Incredibles. What is it? Omni droid. This thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That sounds like a plan. I don't really have to get that reference by the way. A nine. The only thing on you guys to defeat it is itself. And a natural twenty. Okay, so that one obviously goes through. That is twenty-two points of damage. Wow. And the tail. Gets a swipe at Reed, and that's 21 to hit. Yeah, that's going to hit me. I just, uh, I, I just want to rip its legs off. And, so <laughs> and that's six points of damage there, Reed. All right, I could use, can I use dodge, or is it too tight here to do that? I'll give dodge it to you. Dodge will half that. I'll give it to you. All right. And Something it is sort of, sort of. turn once again. So, seeing as I'm still grappling this thing, mm -hmm. uh, and I didn't try to break free, I'm dragging it away from everybody else and kind of rubbing its face up against the steel cage grating as I'm going. Okay. And it as I get it out of... as it does that. Yeah, yeah. As I drag it out of uh, attack range of everybody else, uh, at that point I pull the hat... As I got it pinned up against the uh, wall... I pull my hammer out and maybe hit 17, I believe hits, correct? Yep. And that is 10 damage as I drag it across the metal grating away from everyone and I just bring the hammer against the back of its head and connecting with the front of the cage. Okay. Bad thing. As you do so, oh. you leave a trail of what's looking almost like black blood going down, but it's still moving around. Good. Make it suffer. Not really. It kind of hurt. <laughs> a bunch. I want this thing to die and feel so much pain. <laughs> my, Trump is just, my Trump is using the scary voice. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Working on it. <laughs> Help would be appreciated. <laughs> we'll get there. Anyway, so that's my turn done. So, Vivalda, it is your turn. It, it, is this thing, it's still alive? Yep. Oh, my God. Gonna go over there and stab it again. I basically have it pinned. Yeah. 19. That definitely hits. Good. Nine piercing damage. You see Vivalda take her sword and go down right in the center of the spine you, which you hear a crackling as it does so, but there's no sugar coating sparkles. And the thing just kind of falls limp on Gaius's body that's laying there holding it on the ground. Oh. Try to push it off of him. So, so warm. Oh, God, it's so juicy, too. <laughs> if I can't push it off of him, I help pull him out. Yuck. Oh, oh wait. Celebrator, he pulls out a wine skin or just finishes one off and kind of throws it on the ground. He's like, oh, oh, that's the good stuff. All right. And these guards see that and turn to you and 
and they all have weapons out, and they're like, how do we get out of here? Well, that's an excellent question. Um, you see, the problem is, and he points at the door that's behind them, there's more of these things behind there as well. Wait a minute, behind where? The door your guys are standing at. All of them kind of take three steps away and, like, look at it scarily. We heard the same things that are behind that door over there. We're kind of at a quandary here. The qu- One of the, the guards problem- without the any armor on. We're stuck here forever? You oh, mean no, we wouldn't We're eventually going to have forever. to turn to cannibalism? Woo, 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 woo. There's no food hey. here. Oh, oh, contraire, mon frere. As uh, I can One of the other create- guards says, yeah, there's candy over here. And it's like... Uh, mm. I no, think I you guys are somewhere in my bag right now. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, no, Wait, A, I can spend... make food. I can make food and water. That's that's covered. We would be fine. We won't starve or result to cannibalism. Vivid These things... Check on the kid. Yeah. Be careful. The kid is in the corner just kind of going, this is just, this is just a delay. Any time now, we will be able to be free. We will be able to complete oh dear. the plan. Anyway, I approach the kid, uh, just getting down to his level wherever he's at. Just like just watch kind of so standing name. in the corner, that just continues kind of looking into some distant space, just kind of going. It's just a small setback, but you're out of that cell. You're out of that cell. You're out of that cell. You are. Can I help you with anything? There's a bit of a moment, and he looks up at you and kind of makes eye contact with you, and you see his eyes are incredibly sunken in the skull. He looks malnourished. His skin looks like almost like a dead fish, that kind of white, moist, deathly pallid color. The eyes are really dark, but what would normally be the whites are incredibly bloodshot. Does he look like the wizard or person who cursed me last night? No, no. But of a similar nature or no? Give me an investigation check. And while you're doing that, tell me why you are making a connection like that. Uh, because you mentioned, like, the the skin was kind of, like, the eyes were sunken in, and I remember you described the other person as, like, they were missing parts of their skin, and their eyes were, like, dead-looking, so right. I'm Right, and their, their skin was, like, parchment, almost. Parchment, right. So this is not the same as that. No, whereas that, okay. that person, you know, had a majorly receding hairline, their skin was dry parchment almost it it looked like very aged and used leather this kid still has he's incredibly malnourished but you can still see the evidence of baby fat of this okay he's such a young kid uh but it's that it really is that kind of dead fish pale like pale isn't even it's like the color of a marshmallow like a wet marshmallow oh jeez. Does he say anything after I've asked if he needs help? He looks at you and says, Get me from this prison. I have work to do. Where do you need to go? Out. I want to help you, but I need more answers than that. I am wanted with my compatriots. We will you help us? Job to do it. They will get us out of here, yes. Okay. You can call me Viv if you would like. Viv. Okay. What can I call you? Shane. Shane? That will be my name at the moment until I am reborn. You know. What do you mean? He looks up at you and says, 
you are but mortal, you would not understand. I would love to understand. Get me out of here, and then maybe we can talk. All right. Anybody else? She's just going to keep an eye on him. Okay. But He's... You notice every muscle in his body seems incredibly tense. He's moving, but it's almost like you've seen serpents that were ready to strike that were more relaxed than this kid. I'm going to offer him one of my rations. Takes it and just without even looking at it, just kind of forces it into his mouth and just is chewing. I'm just kind of looking at guys like, now what? No, well, I think we needed to sit down and reassess the situation a little bit. This is um, kind of gotten out of hand just a touch. But the good news is we have our friends here. We have uh, guys kind of like half-ass gestures to the guards. Maybe some new friends. We you guys want to work together, though. right? Hey, have you guys ever wondered what a gelatinous white cube would taste like? They look at you really strangely, with still weapons pointed at you. Like it's uh, they're it's looking food. around at all of you a little skittish. Guys, offering food and water. We're going to be here for a moment. We need to figure out a way out of here, but we're kind of surrounded by monsters. So So you cool? Sure. You cool if we cool. What's up? Guys. What? Should we tell them about the, the ogre and the cell? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's an ace up our sleeve. Well, we got to gently... These guys are a little skittish. Uh, we're going to have to break it to them gently. That we definitely outnumber them by a significant amount. To give yes. you the week to think about your next move, we will yes. call it a night here. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Tune in again next week, same Grognard time, same Grognard channel, to see where this goes. And, as always, be kind. 